Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to compare two cubic functions that are expressed in two different ways. So one is a graph and one is an equation, and we're going to find their average rate of change and we're going to compare them. So that's what it tells us here in blue, compare the average rate of change of f, which is our graph on the left, to the average rate of change of g, which is our equation on the right, over the interval x equals 0 to x equals 8. So what that means is basically we want to look at when x is 0, so that would be like this portion, and when x is 8. Okay, so just, just that piece right there. So on our graph, we see we have a point here at 0, 0, and we have a point right there at 8, 8. So all we want to do now is just find the slope between those two points. So this would be like when x is 0, y is 0, and when x is 8, y is 8. So now if we use the slope, that would be like 0, 0, and 8, comma 8. So now if we find the slope between them, it's just 8 minus 0 over 8 minus 0, we get 8 over 8, which is just 1, okay? So now we're going to do the same thing, but since we have a, a, um, an equation, we're not going to look at the graph. We're just going to plug in 0 and 8 for x and solve. So the first one we're going to do is the g of 0. So that's the cube root of 2 times 0. And 2 times 0 would be 0. The cube root of 0 is 0, okay? So now we're going to plug in 8. So the cube root of 2 times 8. And that would give us the cube root of 16. Now, 16 is not a perfect cube, but it can be simplified. So we can simplify this because the cube root of 16 is the same as the cube root of 8 times 2. And the cube root of 8 is a perfect cube. So now this would be 2 cube root of 2. Okay, so now we have our two points, 0, 0, and 8, 2 cube root of 2. So now if we find the slope, we can do 2 cube root of 2 minus 0 over 8 minus 0. So we get 2 cube root of 2 over 8, and this 2 and the 8 here will simplify. So this ends up giving us 3, or excuse me, the cube root of 2 over 4. Okay. So now what we're going to do with our two slopes. So here was 1, and here was cube root of 2 over 4, our two average rates of change. We're going to compare them, okay? So if I compare, we could do the average rate of change of m, which is 1, and divide it by the average rate of change of our g function. So if we do this in our calculator, we plug it in, we're going to get 3.2 approximately, okay? So now what does that tell us? That tells me that the average, I'm going to use ROC, average rate of change of m is 3.2 times greater than the, and we'll use average here because it's not a linear function, than the average rate of change of g, okay? All right, and that is how you can compare two cubic functions.